back in the day when Mortal Kombat 11 came out, and I saw the trailer they're playing this garbage music by this garbage rapper, uh, 21 Savage, in the trailer. I'm like, what the, why the fuck are they playing that piece of shit music? It sounds awful. Here's this motherfucker be like, blah, 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 blah. Like, what the fuck is that shit? I mean, you got Scorpion and Raiden fighting each other, and you have that piece of shit music playing? The guy is fucking... <sighs> he's a fucking train wreck. They should have Wu-Tang Clan music playing when Scorpion and fucking... Raiden were fighting. But somehow, oh, we gotta get new generation music in here instead. Wu Tang Clan will fit so perfectly with Mortal Kombat, and they, they don't understand that how perfectly that, that fits together. Wu Tang Clan music and Mortal Kombat together, like, that it's, it's fucking magical. It's fucking magical. It's like farting rainbows out of your ass. What's that about they didn't go with that? They went with some fucking garbage rapper that nobody really gives a shit about besides uh, 12 year olds. But, anyways, I, um,. I boycotted uh, Mortal Kombat 11 for a couple of years, and I started playing this year. The gameplay is not bad, you know. It could have been a lot better. I mean, the worst DLC they have in this fucking game was the Terminator because he has like the one of the worst fucking moves of all Mortal Kombat games because it's just he's stiff. He doesn't have the main guns to shoot with. I like the ion grenade. They made it a little too goofy. I just don't really fuck with it. Don't really fuck with that Terminator. Especially they use that model from garbage movie Terminator Dark Fate. If they actually used Terminator 2 Judgment Day look, it would have been a lot fucking better. But they didn't, they didn't go with that. They didn't go with that. They, they decided to just use that from that piece of shit movie instead. Because, oh, it just came out. Let's use that instead. Fuck out of here. Nobody likes that fucking movie. But let's, let's go into um, Mortal Kombat 1. Okay, first off, why the fuck is it called Mortal Kombat 1? You know why? Because they went back in time. They brought it back to the old school days of Mortal Kombat. Which, that's I have no problems with that at all. I love the old school Mortal Kombat looks and the old school Mortal Kombat designs. I don't mind it. But the problem is with this fucking game that they put in here for this new gay shit they put in here is like... The new shit they put in here is one of the stupidest shits I've ever seen. Like the assists. Why do we need assists in here? How do we bring back the tag team thing if we had Mortal Kombat 9? So let me explain how the assists work. It is so fucking corny. So, when two players are fighting each other in a the game, they send out their supporting character. It could be anybody. It could be Johnny Cage. It could be fucking Sonya. They come out of nowhere and they attack you. And, and the other player will do the same thing to you. And that's how it works. It's one of the most corniest ideas they have ever came up with. Assist. Why not just bring back the tag team? Why the fuck do we need this for? What's wrong, what's wrong with the tag team shit they had in Mortal Kombat 9? I love the tag team shit they had. But somehow Ed Boone's like against that for some reason. I don't know why. Why he hates tag teams so much? Well, what's the big deal of tag teams? Tag teams was fucking fun as shit when I play it for Mortal Kombat 9. I don't get what's such a fucking big deal about it. I want to get his panties a bunch about tag teams. Another thing that sucks ass are the cameos. The cameos are corny as shit. Like, now they finally bring back one of the most missed Mortal Kombat characters ever. Chameleon. Chameleon comes back. And now, guess what? He is just a fucking cameo player. What the fuck? Out of so many years... Look, I got this fucking spam caller calling my fucking phone from Utah. Fucking weirdo. Who the, how the fuck you get my number, asshole? Well, anyways... Out of so many years, so many fucking years, people want to play Chameleon so fucking bad, they decided to finally bring him back for only a, com a cameo character. What the fuck? Like, are you fucking kidding me with that shit? That's really fucking disappointing if I can't play as Chameleon. Now, I'm not 100% sure that he's just a cameo. I'm not sure. But if he is a 100% non-playable character, It'll be very disappointing for Mortal Kombat fans because there's so many people out there who will love to play as Chameleon again. Like they're really fucking this shit up. So you you telling me you you can't play as Chameleon, and he's just a cameo character for your fucking assist? Unfucking believable. Like I hope that's not true. I hope he is playable. I just I hope he is. It'd be so fucking lame. Another thing that I read about. I don't know if this is really true, but they took away 
Raiden's signature flying scream. Remember the part in the game where you're Raiden and he does he does his moves like he flies in the air like with electricity and hits you. He's like, what the? I heard they took that away. They took that away. What? Why the fuck would you do something like that? What the fuck is going on with Mortal Kombat? That's like taking away fucking get over here from Scorpion. Like, Ed Boon, what the fuck are you doing? Are you losing your fucking marbles or something? You, is it time you go to nursing home? Is it time you go to the mental fucking hospital? The real Ed Boon will not pull some fucking bullshit like this. He will. He would have never took away Raiden's signature flying scream. He would never do some shit like that. Like, are you fucking crazy? He took away fucking Raiden's signature screaming move? Like, what the fuck is that? You don't do shit like that. This is not the real Ed Boon. If the real Ed Boon saw what this Ed Boon was doing to Mortal Kombat 1, he would lose his fucking mind. He would have probably used one of those Mortal Kombat moves to himself or some shit like that. That's what probably would have happened. You know what else is missing with this game? Where's the toasty guy? Well, what happened to the toasty guy? What happened to him? I don't see him more comment 11 unless I miss something. Or what happened to him? What happened? Remember that shit? Where he's like, toasty! Where, where happened to that guy? I don't see him no more. I don't see him in these, these new games. The last time I saw him was in Mortal Kombat 9. And after that, I never see him again. I think he was in Mortal Kombat X, I think. I don't 100% remember, but... Is he in this new game? I don't know. We just had to wait and find out. Because I haven't seen the Toasty guy in forever. What the fuck happened to all these iconic things in Mortal Kombat? There's so many things that are missing. You know what else is gay? The story. I was watching this one uh, gameplay or something like that. I saw these two dorks wearing uh, dress clothes and shit. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Tekken? I love Tekken, but this is Mortal Kombat, not fucking Tekken. Well, who are these dorks wearing dress clothes and shit? Like, what the fuck is, what is this? What the fuck am I looking at? Oh my god, this just looks so fucking lame. Fucking cameos and assists and shit. That's, that's the stupidest ideas ever. Take that shit out of there. But well, that's not gonna happen. That's in there forever now. You, you know what else sucks about this game? Scorpion's new outfit. Like, what the fuck is that? Why, why does it look like him and Sub-Zero like twin brothers or something like that? Why the fuck they look like that? Where's Scorpion's uh, hoodie and where's his uh, better fucking mask at? Where's his... He, he must have no pupils in his eye. Why, who, why is he all full human again? I don't get that shit. I understand this is a fucking, I don't know, a time lime, uh, rewind or what you want to call it. But I want the real Scorpion look. And I think when you like unlock costumes or shit... I think you can get their old, you know, Scorpion look, I guess. But still, like, wh why the fuck he does it look like he's like a, 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 a Sub-Zero's twin brother or something like that? I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what is this shit? Especially Melina's outfit. I'm like, what the fuck kind of outfit from Melina is that? Is that the best thing to come up with for an outfit from Melina? That's like, that's terrible. Should came up with better ideas than that. Ugh. Man, there's so many problems with this game. There's so many issues this game fucking has. And I don't, I don't even know why you want to play it this time. I know the last time I said I want to play Mortal Kombat 11, but this time I think I'm really fucking serious about this one, I think. Because this is like dookie trash. I'm not going to play a game full of a stupid assists and cameos. That's fucking lame. How about a real Mortal Kombat game and not full of that fucking horse shit in there? Oh my god. I forgot, there's something else I had to say that, that sucks about this game. Oh, yeah, uh, th that new uh, DLC, other DLC characters they have in here. Um, let's talk about that. Let's talk about these new DLC characters they have for this game. Uh, they have one of them from the show called Invincible called, is uh, Ami Man. I guess that's fine. I don't mean I don't mind Ami Man, you know. Uh, I, I didn't mind that character. You know, I don't, I don't really like the show that much. I do like him, though. I like him as a character, though. Also, the others they have in here, um, Homelander. Why the fuck is Homelander in here? You got two superheroes in one in one DLC Mortal Kombat? I'm like, why? Homelander, I... <laughs> we don't need too many superhero fucking DLCs. Like, that's the best you can come up with. I mean, Omni Man is good enough, but you need Homelander in there too? Come on now, really? You don't need Homelander and Omni Man. You don't need two superheroes for a DLC. You got Quan Chi in here, that's cool. You got Ermac, that's cool. Peacemaker? Oh uh, yeah, that that's it. I'm not I'm not playing this game. 
Fuck Peacemaker. Why did he have three super... I mean, Peacemaker's not a superhero, but... He still fucking has super abilities. Who the fuck came up with this DLC characters? Who came up with this shit? Some fucking nerd? Peacemaker, Homelander, and Omni Man. Are you fucking shitting me right now? I don't even like Homelander and Peacemaker. Why the fuck are they even in here? Peacemaker is a terrible character, and I don't fuck with Homelander because I don't watch The Boys. Because I just don't fuck with that shit. I don't fuck all these superhero shows like that. Okay, I don't fuck with all of that. I like, I like some proportion of superhero shows and comics. I don't like every single fucking thing. And I don't think Homelander is that good of a character, to be fair. A lot of people get mad about it, but that's just my opinion. I don't fuck a Homelander. I don't fuck a Peacemaker. Peacemaker is worse. I understand Homelander is a villain just like Ami Man. I know Peacemaker is a bad guy too, but... Could he come up at least... I'm fine with just Ami Man. Just have one super villain in there. How about... That's it. And then get some other DLCs from other shit that's not Peacemaker and Homelander. In my opinion, there's just too many of those fucking characters. It's just been just Omni Man and has some other fucking DLCs that's not other super power fucking characters. Besides that, there's also another character from Mortal Kombat 10 that's a DLC in here. It's Tanaka. I guess he pronounced his name. Yeah, I know him. I played it. I play as him in the uh, the story of Mortal Kombat X. He's okay, you know, I'm not really that crazy about him or anything like that, but they could have, like, better, you know, uh, DLCs for Mortal Kombat Pack 1 for DLCs that's not him. Well, I guess this is close enough, you know, but Homelander and Peacemaker should not be in here. They just, there's just there's too many supervillains in here. You know, just too many of them. Plus, Peacemaker, I just don't, I don't like Peacemaker because I don't like John Cena as an actor. He's just not a good actor. He's just too goofy, and I just don't fuck with him. But I think that's, that's it for this video. This video is getting, like, way too long, and I don't want to drag it up for too long. Uh, I just don't really want to fuck with this game. You know, I still want to fuck with this game, but it's just, I don't know. I'll just wait till it comes out and see what people's opinions are first before I get into this shit. Or maybe just wait for all the DLCs to come out and then I'll just buy the whole fucking game. And not get ripped off like I did the last time with the whole pay extra money for Shao Kahn and pay extra money for Frost.